everybody and welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new today I'm going to show you how to play a cassette in a cassette player as what I've learned over collecting cassettes for the I guess year or so yep <laughs> so anyway I hope you enjoy remember to hit that subscribe button and yeah let's get started so let's get started the first thing you're gonna need is a cassette player of course and your favorite cassettes here is um what i have in my cute star catcher cassette box that i found at the thrift store broken but i still loved it because it was pink <laughs> and uh, you can check out my cassette uh collection video if you haven't up there on the little suggestion thingy suggestion thingy yeah <laughs> then go ahead and plug in your uh, cassette player here i am struggling to with one hand and holding the camera then you want to make sure that your cassette player is on tape or cassette and not CD or radio because some cassette players come with CD and radio and all that, especially the newer ones, you know, uh, aux cords, all, all that stuff, Bluetooth. <laughs> and now it is time to play a cassette. So I've got a queen cassette here. Once you get your desired cassette, you're going to want to open it and pull the cassette out of the paper insert in its little plastic box insert paper thing. Yep. <laughs> And then, as you can see, I have Queen, A Day at the Races. I love Queen. I know I say that in every video. <laughs> then you're going to go ahead and put in the first side of your cassette. Um, usually, with new cassettes, or if you're lucky, the cassette does not de need to be rewind, and you can just press play like I am here. But for cassettes that need to be rewind, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. <laughs> so I've got this Pat Benatar cassette. She's a rock and roll queen. I love her. You're going to go ahead and choose side one of your cassette and put it in. And if it needs to be rewind, press the rewind button and it should make a sh 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 sound like it does here. And then you wait until you hear a specific sound that tells you it stops. It's like a squeaky sound. Here it is. Once you hear that sound, immediately press stop, and then make sure it's still in there. Don't eject it. <laughs> you know, don't take it out. And then press play. Yep. And uh, that's how you rewind a cassette. And then some cassettes, like this striper one I have here, have a little alien woo-woo sound at the beginning. Woo. <laughs> An alien sound at the beginning to... Um, to alert you that you rewind it on the right side and the music will start soon. I, I didn't know that when I first bought the cassette and I rewinded it and I pressed play and I was like, what the heck is this? And on some cassettes it has that and that's very handy. So here's that sound. And yeah, that's the sound you should hear when um it, it's gonna start playing. I hope that's not copyrighted, I don't know but it makes a weird alien sound. And anyway, that's how you play a cassette. So go ahead and take out your cassette after rocking out. <laughs> you can press the stop and eject button and pull it out and put it back in its case. And at this point, you can decide if you want to rewind it back to the beginning or just keep it in the spot you were last listening to. Another cool thing about um, collecting cassettes is they have usually have cover art or the lyrics in them or cute pictures. Like here's the band Striper. Look at all that hair, all that glitter, all the hotness. Yes, yes, yes. And anyway, guys, that is how you play cassette. On to the outro. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and um, stuff. Yep. <laughs> and my Instagram and Twitter are down below. I will see you guys later.